How has Billy been lately? I don't know. Aren't you friends? We're like head nod in the hallway friends. What's that? You see someone in the hallway, you give them one of these. Ooh, there's a computer game called Railroad Kingdom. Can we get it? How much is it? $49.95. Are you crazy? I'll handle this. I am not paying that much for a game. It's not just a game. It's a cutting edge simulation teaching business skills in the golden age of railroads. It doesn't matter. But what if I end up running a railroad one day and don't have the necessary business skills? I think I nailed it with Are You Crazy? Look, if you really want it, I know a guy who sells bootleg games for five bucks. But that's like stealing. Aren't you gonna buy the game eventually? As soon as I save up enough money. So you're just getting it early. Hmm. The next day, Tam showed up with the bootleg copy of Railroad Kingdom. I wore my mittens so as not to leave fingerprints in case it was ever used as evidence against me. Also, Tam had pulled it out of his gym bag. Ugh. I knew it was wrong, but listen to that seductive theme song. Little did I know, as I was spreading tracks across North America, a computer virus was spreading itself across my hard drive. Next stop, Infection City. You're unbelievable. Right now, I'm about to take out a loan so I can build the first railroad line between the Atlantic and the Pacific. Cool. What do I do? You watch me take out a loan so I can build the first railroad line between the Atlantic and the Pacific. Hey, Billy. I thought you were playing computer games with Shihub. I got bored, so I came out here. Wait, you want me to go get him? No, I'm fine by myself. What is happening? Oh no. <laughs> Hello, you've reached the Tandy Tech Support Hotline. I need help. I think I have a virus. I was playing this game and the then suddenly. Wait time is 28 minutes. It wasn't bad enough. I had to wait. I also had to listen to rock and roll. This is fun. Good. Glad you're here. My dad never let me play cards with him. And then he left. Yeah, that's a virus. Oh, dear. Uh, have you used any unlicensed software lately? Um... I play a lot of games, not always officially purchased. I'm just here to help get your computer up and running. Thank you for understanding, David. I'm not usually a rule breaker, but it was Railroad Kingdom, and I really wanted it because I love trains. And it was $49.95. My mom said it was too expensive. And I was going to buy it eventually, and Tam said that was good enough, so I got a bootleg copy, and now I have a virus which I very much deserve. I'm sorry, who's Tam? So what we're gonna need to do is wipe your hard drive clean and reinstall the operating system. But what about all my files? Do you have everything backed up? I back up my files every Thursday night. I call it Backup Thursdays. It's not the catchiest, but it sums up the situation. Perfect. After we wipe your drive, you can restore it and you'll be good as new. Thank you so much. Wait, what if I use the backup disk after the virus was already on the computer? Oh, uh, then I'm afraid it's corrupted too. But how do I get my files? You don't. But I have all my old papers on there, my parents' taxes. I'm sorry. I lost all the files on my computer. Wait, I'm sure you can get them back. I can't, and it's all my fault. All right, calm down. I can't calm down. This is a disaster. It'll be OK, Sheldon. You don't understand. They're gone, and they're gone forever. And no matter what I do, they're never coming back, so it won't be OK. I wish I could tell you I realized the cruel irony of what I had just said to Billy and apologized. But I didn't. Like a virus, heartbreak can also spread. Once it does, it's hard to contain.